Okay, so just a disclaimer, quick disclaimer. You're not a bad person if you don't do activism, okay? You're not a bad person. Maybe it's not your calling and that's okay. Just want to clarify and put that out there because I don't want to shame anyone here, okay? This is just for the, you know, this people who do activism will perhaps understand what I'm trying to say here. Because you know what? Everyone has different personality types. Everyone has different budgets. Hell, you don't even need money to do activism. If you, own, if you have access to the internet, you have the choice. You have the choice to do some sort of activism online through social media or not. If you're extroverted, like me, you have the choice to go out and about in the streets and do activism that way. If you have the monetary funds, you could also have that option as well. Um, so I'm an activist. I'm not the best activist, okay? Um, but I'm an activist in some sh shape, way, or form. And I've done my part, and I still do my part. Uh, I'm not going to get into details, but... Um, you know, I don't have a big influence on social media, but I came across this Instagram post by Barrett Paul, and pretty much he said that, well, he posted like happy pride, whatever, and he posted pictures of like him partying, right? And I just made a simple comment, a constructive criticism saying that um what a shame you know you, like activism nowadays like pride is not the activism that it used to be back in the 70s 80s 90s right um because there's still oppression going on and a lot of people may not see it or experience it, but there is still oppression going on. And I don't think, and I made so many numerous videos about this. We're not really entitled to celebrate as much as we do on Pride because we still have a lot of work to do. We still have a lot of activism to do. And yeah, if you want to party and celebrate, because we have made progress, don't get me wrong, it's okay to celebrate, don't want to be a Debbie Downer here, I'm just making a constructive criticism, because um, it's important to acknowledge and address a lot of shit that still goes on, even within the com inside the community, and um, it's so broken right now, it's so divided, and I just made the comment that, you know, activism... Pride is not activism, you know, you've got to separate the two. Um, so I got just negative comments. Um, Barrett Paul is a guy I talked about before. I don't have a lot of critique on how he does his activism. I think it's a shame that he has such a large following and he doesn't take advantage of that and he misuses you know, his platform, his following, his, his influence per se. And I just made that simple comment, constructive criticism. And then I got comments making assumptions about me saying I have internalized homophobia. There's this crazy person who said that people like me, no, men like you should be banned from the internet. I'm like, wow. Okay. What the hell? Um, that sounds pretty, um, pretty much against what the whole pride movement is about, don't you think? I thought pride was all about love and just like altruism, free speech. What happened to free speech, right? Uh, you can't even make us fucking constructive criticism nowadays because there's a lot of easily offended NPCs, it seems, and what else? So, making assumptions about me. What activism are you doing? Yeah, like, why are you making assumptions about me? Um, and I don't owe you an explanation on how I do my activism because I've done my part, okay? Um, and again, 
not everyone has to do their, that's not everyone's calling, okay, not everyone has to do activism, okay, you're not a bad person, okay, um, what else, like, where in this post did it say anything about activism? I see a post about joy. Those are allowed too. Yeah, but um, Pride Month is about activism. Like, look at the pictures back in the day, okay? Pride used to be serious. I, I fucking hate the word pride because it's tacky. And um, it's just like... I feel so fucking misunderstood. I'm so tired. I feel so, I'm so disappointed and I feel really hopeless. I'm tired of this old paradigm. And I just find it so frustrating. The hypocrisy that's out there. People, they think they're so progressive, but it comes across as progressive, but it's not. It's the contrary. It's a big facade. I'm crying out of anger and disappointment now. Mostly disappointment. Okay. Um, I'm just tired, really. I, I tried doing my part. And people don't want to see reality. And that really... I'm like, what's the point of it? What's the point of it all? People don't want to... It seems they don't want things to get better. People don't have, it seems, the ability to try to see where the other comes from. People just straight up go into make assumptions. Um, yeah. You know, I'm a keyboard warrior. Um, what's, what, where did he state that the post was about activism? It's like, I don't understand people's common sense. I don't know. They don't even have common sense. That's the, th the problem. They don't have, I don't understand their logic. <laughs> like pride is activism, but it's like, th that's the, the word itself. It's misused. It shouldn't even fucking be used in the first place. Um, if you want to go party, have orgies, whatever, more power to you. I don't shame that. Do whatever the fuck you want. But make it like in closed doors. Like that. No wonder, okay, homophobic people, religious people, straight people in general who they may not even be homophobic, but they're like, what the fuck is, are these people doing? prouncing around naked on the streets you know i've seen <sighs> i go to every fucking community and i see where they come from and i understand why they say they things that i can't talk right now i understand why they say and do the things that they do against the community and you know what devil's advocate here devil's fucking advocate here I understand why they do it, and they, I justify, I don't enable, but I fucking justify why they say the things that they do, because it makes sense, because the community, a lot of people in the community, they're too fucking egotistical and narcissistic to understand how and see how their activism in other words, ego stroking when they're out in the streets naked in front of, like, it's, you can't, pride is not even, like, family friendly. Like, don't you want to fight for a cause and you're just making it a party that, what well, I don't understand your NPC logic, NPC, yeah, they're NPCs, it seems. A lot of people in this fucking world are, I'm so fucking tired, like, I'm, like, Fuck it. I give up. I give up. Like. You know who understood me the most? Which this is the most. I. 
that's this, I can't communicate with most, never mind, I can't. <laughs> I'm just so fucking disappointed, and, um, this world is gonna collapse anyways, like, fuck it, that, that's like, it seems that it's inevitable, this society will collapse, like, it will, the elite will go on with their agenda, I understand, I, I know what the agenda looks like, and people don't, it seems they don't give a shit about it, and I guess it's meant to happen, it's meant to happen. People are going to become divided. And they're going to fall for the lies. And the virtue signaling. And. Because by the way. If anyone doesn't know the like. The concrete definition. Like of the term. Like you know the saying virtue signal. It, it's equivalent to hypocrisy. It's when you you say like of all the good things that you do but you don't take action so it's it's hypocrisy um in other words right um so it's like those hollywood actors who are like um you know um who have like big ass mansions and they're like um I don't know, for example, help the homeless, but they themselves don't need to even help the homeless. Like, they could definitely house so many homeless people in their mansions. They could pay for it. <laughs> they could feed a lot of homeless people. Do they do it? No. That's that's virtue signaling. Um, and whatever, like, you don't need to give charity. I'm not shaming here. What I'm shaming is hypocrisy. That's the problem there. You know why it's the fucking problem? Because we live in a fucking stupid planet. We're governed under the law of attraction, the law of cause and effect. It's the same fucking thing. So if you're a hypocrite, you're going to manifest hypocrisy. The biggest um, reflection of all of, of like the whole mix the, the whole concoction, the amalgamation of everyone's projection, it, it's like it's onto the government. People don't believe this or they don't want to believe it. Or it's not entirely the truth because of other universal laws, but it's at least 50% of the truth. So if you want to be the, f if you want things to fucking change, you fucking change. You don't like corruption, you stop being corrupt. In other words, stop being a hypocrite. Stop enabling bad behavior. That's the, the enabling, enabling, enablers are just as worst as the perpetrators. And I see a lot of people who enable stupid things like Pride Month, which doesn't help with anything at and like maybe it helps to a small degree but it doesn't help at all at all so the problem here are two things enabling bad behavior and hypocrisy those are the problems here that's it that's it you don't need to do activism. It's not your calling. It's not your calling. That's okay. But don't be a hypocrite. Primarily, don't be a hypocrite. That's all. That I guess that's my frustration comes from. I'm so tired. I really give up. I really give up. I say fuck pride and let's make activism great again. How it should be. How it should fucking be. You want to party and celebrate? Whatever. That's that's awesome. 
it's also about celebration. But you do it behind closed doors, especially if it's sexual and deviant. Davian is so fucking subjective, by the way. I'm not shaming here, but you know what I mean, right? There's nothing wrong with sex. Okay, just want to clarify. I'm just saying people don't take into account other people, it seems. And they project it onto the government because the government doesn't take your needs into account. Well, how do you not take into account other person's needs? Sorry, but at least 50% is cost and effect. That's the sad truth. If you don't want to believe that, whatever, that's not your calling. That's okay. I respect it. I personally believe it. And I find it frustrating how it seems apparently so many fucking people in this world can't see cause and effect. They can't. They cannot. And I guess we're meant, like the Bible says, the book of Revelations, where it's, it's, it's going to come to terms, it seems, yeah. So I'm like, I'm struggling. Like, should I do activism then in the first place? Like, I don't want to be apathetic, but I I guess yeah, assumptions you, you, like whatever, I don't care if people assume I'm a bad person or I don't do activism or whatever when we die you can look into Akashic Records later on bye, tell me your thoughts about this if you resonate with this um, yeah, I'm really curious about to hear what you guys think about this issue. Okay, bye, thanks for watching.